I didn't feel that the Turing test was really the right way to calibrate how intelligent a, an algorithm could be. But to linger on that, do you think it's pot because you've come up with some incredible tests later on, tests on algorithms, right? Yeah. That are uh, like strong, reliable, robust across a bunch of different classes of algorithms. But returning to this emotional mess that is intelligence, yeah. do you think it's possible to come up with a test that's as ironclad as some of the computational complexity work? Well, I think the greater question is whether it's possible to achieve human level level intelligence. Right. So that's so. First of all, let me at the philosophical level. Do you think it's possible to create algorithms that reason and would seem to us to have the same kind of intelligence as human beings? It's an open question. Um, it seems to me that. Um, most of the achievements have uh, acquire, uh, operate within a very limited set of ground rules and for a very limited, precise task, which is a quite different situation from the processes that go on in the minds of humans, which where they have to sort of function in changing environments. They have emotions. They have... Um, um, physical attributes for acquire for exploring their environment. Um, they have intuition. They have desires, um, emotions, and I don't see anything in the current achievements of what's called AI that come close to that capability. I don't think there's any computer program which surpasses a six-month-old child in terms of comprehension of the world. Do you think this complexity of human intelligence, all the cognitive abilities we have, all the emotion, do you think that could be reduced one day or just fundamentally, can it be reduced to an al a set of algorithms or an algorithm? So can a Turing machine <laughs> achieve human-level intelligence? I am doubtful about that. I guess the argument in favor of it is that the human brain seems to achieve what we call intelligence, cognitive abilities of different kinds. And if you buy the premise that the human brain is just an enormous interconnected set of switches, so to speak, then in principle, you should be able to diagnose what that interconnection structure is like, characterize the individual switches, and build a, a simulation outside. But while that may be true in principle, that cannot be the way we're eventually going to tackle this problem. It's you know, <laughs> enormous. That that does not seem like a feasible way to go about it. So. It, there is, however, an existence proof that um, uh, if you believe that the brain is is just a network of, of neurons operating by rules, I guess you could say that that's an existence proof of the ability to build uh, the capabilities of a mechanism. Um, but it would be almost impossible to acquire the information unless we got enough insight into the operation of the brain.